Hello, everybody. Kanisha. Uh, excuse me. Kanisha, the creator of imagination here. And I'm about to bring you the rest of my review. Now, as I was like, Tatiwak, Tatawaka? I'm trying my best. Is a classmate of Akane. Has a crush on her. And he is the type of person who, like, fights for her honor even though she doesn't ask for it because she can obviously protect herself. But he also has a crush on a girl version of Ranma. And he can't choose between them. Now, see, there is also Tatakawaki, who is the brother uh, who is the brother of Kodachi, Kodachi, and Kodachi. Well, let me just tell you, she got a crush on Ranma. She is part of a gymnastics team and likes to play dirty. Next is Moose. He turns into a duck when he is hit by water. He wants to try and get rid of Ranma because he is in love with Shampoo. For once, somebody is in love with somebody who isn't a, either Akane or Ranma. <laughs> yeah, so that was a nice change of pace. He's terrible at keeping his glasses up. Like, every time, he always has his glasses on top of his head. And I'm thinking to myself, dude, if you're, like, completely blind, why don't you keep your glasses in front? Like, where your eyes are. Why do you keep having them on top of your head? You obviously can't see. It's either do that or put on some eye contacts or something. And it's not even funny. You Like, you know how sometimes in some of these moments... When the when hijinks it ensues, it's actually kind of funny. It's not even funny whenever he doesn't have his glasses. Whenever he, whenever he keeps going the whole, you know how like Velma is always like, my glasses, I can't see without them. Like at least some of the times they change it up a little bit that it's actually funny. Here it's not funny. I'm like, dude. Oh, that's another thing. Back back to Ryoka. One thing that really did start getting annoying and that definitely wasn't funny was this whole thing of, well, oh, woe is me. I keep getting lost because I don't know how to listen to directions. It's not even just reading directions. This person literally said, dude, I told you like three times already which way to go. And he just wouldn't. And he, his memory was so freaking bad. He could not. I promise you, never give this guy a baking recipe because he will not eat. Because I promise you, if he can't even tell which way to go, he definitely won't be able to read the directions right. <laughs> Another thing about Moose, he has secret weapons. Like he will hide, like he can hide as many weapons as you can imagine. I know it's just comedic effect, but still. Anyway, there are a lot of moments that have run by changing into a girl because of hijinks and would run into awkward situations. The same thing with Ryoka. He wouldn't always be with Akane. There would be moments where he nearly got eaten because, you know, he turns into a pig. Which, one, that's kind of dark that they in a comedic show like this. But at the same time, it's still comedic, so you know he's never really going to die. But still, that's still a little dark to add in this kind of show. There's also a moment that completely shocked me. That's the moment when Mikado freaking kiss Ranma. If you don't know who that is, that's a skating guy. That was a skating guy that seemed to have all the women's hearts. He freaking kissed Ranma while Ranma was a girl. And I, and everybody else was shocked as heck. I was so shocked when I saw that scene. I was like, what the? No, I didn't even say that. I was completely shocked. No words were coming out of my mouth. My mouth was just open wide. My eyes were freaking focused on the TV. And I was just completely shocked. Completely shocked. I just couldn't believe that they just saw a scene like that. I mean, I know they kept playing around at the idea of people falling in love with Ranma as a girl. But like actually showing Ranma as a girl getting kissed. And like, I, did, I just couldn't believe it. And this guy was a complete.
ain't nobody. You know how, like, all the other people that have crushes on them uh, have crushes on either Akane or Ranma keep showing back and forth in each episode? This guy was a total nobody. He showed up for, like, two episodes and then he was gone. He might show up later, but I don't know about that. So far, he has not shown up again. Not him, not his sister. Neither one of them has showed up again. Like Shampoo, R Yoga, Moose, all of them have showed up over and over again. Also, Shampoo's grandmother has showed up quite a couple of times too, but I'm counting only the people who have crushes on either Akane or Ranma. They show up over and over again, but like this random guy that just his brother as a girl just never shows up again. Never shows up again. And I'm thinking to myself, why did you include that? He already was going through an existential crisis when that dude freaking confessed to him. Sorry, anyway. I also think it is annoying. Listen, so many times in this freaking anime, they've had the person that has a crush on Ranma or wants to fight Ranma freaking go all the way to China to figure out a way to defeat him. And when they go there, they fall into... There isn't just those two pools that can turn people into a panda. And people and can turn boys into girls. There are freaking... There are There is freaking pools that can turn people into ducks. Can turn people into cats. Can turn people into pigs. And you know what's so scary about that? Is these pools... You want to know why they can turn them into animals or people? It's because the people or the animals were drowned and I'm like during that is dark can this anime get any darker do not answer that question I don't want any spoilers it keeps getting darker <laughs> like they're all drowned that's the only reason they can turn into those animals and how come Rama can turn into a girl is because those like those animals and that and a girl drowned in that pool that and their ghost makes whoever lands in that water just turn into that, turn into the last thing they were. And that is so sad. When you think about that, it's so messed up. Anyway, I can't tell you whether I'm going to make a part two because, I mean, this is getting on. And the reason I'm making this review right now is because I don't know if I'm really going to finish all of these seasons of Run by One and a Half. So this was a better option. Also, like, yeah, this thing is like seven seasons. Don't get me wrong, I did watch all of Fairy Tale, but that was different. At least in Fairy Tale, the characters kind of grew. They kind of grew. And even as I'm watching 100, uh, the uh, 100 year quest thing, they're still growing. They're, they're actually developing good characteristics. They're actually, they are actually having good character arcs. At least they are growing. At least I know in Inuyasha, they are going to grow. Because I know that's seven seasons too. They are going to grow as people. I know in the other shows that I'm going to watch, that will be seven seasons. There might be good character development. But in here, it doesn't even look like the characters will develop anything. It feels like they don't know that much. Sure, Ranma does know a few new karate moves, but I mean his personality. I want his personality to change a little bit. And really, all their personalities just sit right back. They don't change at all. No offense to them. They don't change at all. They seem like the same people each episode. It just feels like it's backtracking. They seem like the same people. It feels like it's never going to change. But anyway, like I said, I can't guarantee that I'll make a part two. Maybe if I get enough likes, I might make a part two. But I can't guarantee I'll make a part two. Anyway, I like this anime. It is really funny. But like I said, I don't know if I'll finish all the seasons. I'll try my best. If I finish it, I'll finish it. And then I'll make a part two. But if I don't finish it, I don't finish it. If I don't make a part two, but I did finish it, I'll just tell you how I thought about the ending. How about that? I'll just tell you what I thought about the ending. That's all I'll do. Because really, I feel like I don't really want to do a part two because I feel like it's just going to be the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. And we're just going to add like a bunch of new people. I know that for a fact because I looked at the list of characters on here. So anyway, yeah, that's my review for Ranma One and a Half. Hope y'all have a pleasant day and I hope y'all like this review. Bye.